What's going on, everyone? This may be a filing that someone can relate to, or some of you guys can relate to. This is the SRPHLX uh, VWAP calculations, or volume weighted average price. This is a technical indicator that's uh, often surrounded with, you know, crime. Anyways, this one is uh, going to be implemented when they release a active trader notice out of the NASDAQ. So uh, we'll have to wait and see when that will be. Now, the background of this, just, just to give you an idea of the background of VWAP, the final settlement price for the volatility index is calculated on Wednesday of each week, commencing at 9.32 a.m. on the expi expiration day and continuing each second for the next 300 seconds, New York time. The settlement value for the volatility index is the closing VWAP that is determined by reference to the prices and sizes of executed orders. Now, Super Note 4, the exchange proposes to add rule text within options 4A, section 12B, 6D to further describe what is meant by executed orders. Today, the rules text states, executed orders shall include simple orders and complex orders. However, individual leg executions of a complex order will only be included if the executed price of the leg is at or within the NBBO. Now, the settlement value for the volatility index, again, um, is the closing VWAP that is determined by reference to the prices and sizes of the executed orders, or quotes in the 32 underlying NDX component options. Now, de dependent upon movement in the NASDAQ 100 index, all of the closing settlement period index 32 underlying NDX component options can change every second, making live market final settlement replication unfeasible over 300 seconds. Now, PHLX, NASDAQ ISC LLC, and NASDAQ GEMX are all of the NASDAQ exchanges. Um, calculated the opening of trading on expiration date, usually a Wednesday. Now, this is your NDX components. Now, at the end of individual one-second time observations during the closing settlement period, which commences at, again, 9.32 on the expiration day, or two, uh, two minutes and one millisecond after the opening of trading, in the event trading does not commence at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and continues each second for the next 300 seconds. The number of contracts resulting from orders and quotes executed on PHLX, ISC, and GEMX at each price during the observation period is multiplied by that price to yield a reference number. Now, the proposal. The exchange proposes to amend the closing VWAP to provide for an alternative calculation of the closing settlement period if during any one second of the closing settlement period any of the 32 index option series does not have a trade or a quote. So basically they're saying if it doesn't have a quote or a trade, they're gonna basically look back and use the previous quote to get the VWAP. So if any one second of the observation period, any of the 32 index option series used for closing VWAP does not have a trade or quote, the index calculator would look back and use the most recent published quote during that day for the one second VWAP for the option component that does not have a trade. If there is no one second VWAP to utilize for any of the 32 index options series during the closing settlement period, then the index calculator will consider that closing settlement period invalid and will be unable to determine a closing VWAP. Second, in the event of a closing settlement period is invalid and a closing VWAP cannot be determined, the index calculator will then roll the closing settlement period forward by one second and determine if there is a one second VWAP for each of the 32 index options series for all 300 consecutive seconds of the new closing settlement period. If there is a one second VWAP for all of the 32 index option series for all 300 consecutive seconds, a closing VWAP will be calculated. If a one second VWAP is not present for all of the 32 index option series, the index calculator will again roll the closing settlement period forward by one second. The index calculator would continue to roll the closing settlement period forward by one second until such time as it is able to capture a one second VWAP for each of the 32 index option series for all 300 consecutive seconds. At that time, a closing VWAP will be calculated. In the event of a trading halt in one or more options, excluding a trading halt in all NASDAQ 100 index options prior to the completion of the closed settlement period, the exchange would continue to look back for a second prior to looking forward. The exchange believes that it is important to maintain a consistent process for obtaining missing values for the closing VWAP. As noted above, the exchange does not believe the alternative method would be utilized with any frequency, rather it should be utilized infrequently. In the event a trading halt caused market makers to not submit a valid width quote in certain components, the alternative methodology would look forward to obtain a value. Also, 
The exchange would utilize a quote from the opening process only in the event an option series was able to open. If the opening process did not complete for an option series, there would be no value to obtain for a component during a look back. Now, while the exchange believes that the volatility index closing uh, VWAP has exceedingly high hurdles for potential manipulation, the proposed amendments would provide for a closing settlement period, which has published liquidity for all of the 32 index options. So again, everything's liquidity based. There's no liquidity in the market. That's what we see the repo market acting as is one gigantic liquidity providing vehicle, basically life support for the entire market. Um, this proposed amendment would permit the index calculator to seek a one second VWAP by first looking back for the most recent published quote midpoint for that option that had no trade quote. Um, basically just reiterating what, what we just uh, went over. Now, none, nonetheless, the exchange in its normal course of surveillance will monitor for any potential manipulation, yeah, right, of the volatility index settlement value according to the exchange's current procedures. Additionally, the exchange would monitor the integrity of the volatility index by analyzing trades, quotations, and orders that affect any of the 300 calculated reference prices for any of the index option series used for the closing VWAP for potential manipulation on the exchange. Leave that to the SEC. SROs don't need to be looking for manipulation because you're causing manipulation. So in essence, recalculating how they calculate uh, the VWAP, they're going to be looking forward for a 300 uh, you know, reference price or 300 seconds for reference price looking back. They look forward if there is a trading halt or if a price cannot be determined. They look back if there's no quote. Um, basically, they're reiterating that it is unlikely it'll be manipulated. Don't worry. But we'll watch and we'll we'll keep an eye out. So likely that VWAP stuff we see um, around options, um, this should resolve that. But any, I don't know. Um, notice how everything's around options. So what does that tell you? Anyways, we should get a notice when this will be approved. Um, as far as effect on the market, not sure. I I think it's for an excuse. Uh, for the VWAP not to look like it's 100% manipulated. So anyways, y'all have a good one.